Hi there, it's Samuel Larson here and I wanted to make a quick video about the benefits and disadvantages of WooCommerce versus Shopify. All right, so it's the eternal debate between the two platforms. And uh, this is the video for you. If you are kind of like seeing like which platform could be the best for you, maybe you're already on WordPress, but you're thinking like, should I switch to Shopify or you're on Shopify and you're wondering whether that would be something better. So I just want to go over like the main things because the main things are the most important things. So let's start with WooCommerce because that's the place that has been uh, there for the longer time. And uh, it's kind of like the solution that for most people, it's the cheap solution that uh, they can get started on pretty, so, pretty fast. Maybe they already have a blog or something and they just want to latch on that WooCommerce plugin there and uh, get started. So I would say WooCommerce is definitely good for those who are doing a blog heavy site. So with Shopify, it is more of a commerce platform. So if you have a store or a site that uh, has a lot of other functionalities, WooCommerce might be great for you. Especially like if you are looking for something specific like booking things or things of this nature, WooCommerce is good. Now, there's a lot of good free plugins and some paid plugins as well that uh, can basically do anything. So for special purposes, it's the better choice. And also if you already have a site on WordPress, it's uh, an easy transformation over to WooCommerce. Now, let's uh, discuss some of the drawbacks of this solution. So what are the reasons to not choose WooCommerce? I would say like the biggest one is actually the one that uh, has uh, um, the biggest impact of the usability for the user. And that is that WooCommerce is not hosted. So it can become a nightmare with more traffic. And with every e-commerce platform, you always want them to be scalable. So what happens if your business idea actually takes off and uh, you become tremendously successful? You, know, you will hit a nightmare with this. And uh, it does require a good server. And those server costs can often come and like end up being as much as a Shopify subscription would be. So WooCommerce really doesn't scale that well. And uh, it's not as fast of a solution as Shopify would be. All right, so those are the main drawbacks of WooCommerce. But uh, let's look at the Shopify side of things. And uh, what are some drawbacks and uh, pluses on this side? So. Shopify is definitely easier to set up because all you need to do is click the subscription button. You already have a server, easy to purchase a domain. There's no need uh, for you to go to any FTP servers or do anything of like PHP admin on any of that scary stuff. You just get a hosted solution that is very documented, easily supported and uh, so on. And in terms of like 2017, uh, the big benefit of Shopify that I don't see WooCommerce catching up on anytime soon is the social commerce part. So Shopify will be easy to integrate with almost anything. And uh, it will also be a solution that will be very scalable apart from like uh, WooCommerce that uh, will hit its limits with a certain number of visitors. All right, so drawbacks of Shopify. Shopify is mainly a e-commerce platform. So if you are thinking of a pure shop, that's the platform to go for. However, for these special functionalities as discussed, um, Shopify doesn't really provide great solutions for that. So it is a platform to sell and it is a platform to move money. But uh, for other kind of websites, you might be better off going with WordPress. All right, so also 
a big thing with Shopify is that it's not great for international shops. We have uh, a single currency checkout, and uh, although there's a good language plugin right now, it's still not the best one uh, for uh, having a multi lingual store. So um, another issue that a lot of people are running into is that it does require a lot of paid plugins. So Shopify stores can actually get quite costly if uh, you are running them on a high level. And I mean high level, meaning that uh, you have uh, all the bells and whistles and you're really taking it seriously. So um, who should you go for really quickly? It just depends, like it really depends. So if you are not one of the exceptions that we covered, so if you are not a blogger or you don't require any specific functionalities, then uh, Shopify will probably be the choice for you. And I would recommend that. So it's just easier to get started. You can test your ideas and you can scale. So it works on every part of the journey. And uh, that's why it's such a great platform. And you cannot really be worried about these small costs if you are actually taking this business seriously. All right, so very quick video, 2017 video on here on how to make this difficult decision on the platform to go for. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and uh, subscribe for more videos. Okay, goodbye.